One of the biggest challenge of newbie Scrum Master is how to land their first real life interviews. I've come across many people that are kind of stuck, not being able to bypass the recruiter interview and they're asking themselves, is there something really wrong with me? Hello, welcome to the Seth Scrum chat room. And if you're new to this room, hit the subscribe button because this is where we discuss real life uh, challenges that will help you land that first Scrum Master rule immediately. And if you're not yet certified and want to get in and you want to get your certification in less than a month, uh, send me a, an email or a message using the information below and we are going to get into that. But before that, let's get into our question for the day. Now, one of the biggest challenges on how to bypass the recruiter. And I know so many people are really frustrated. You've been sending out uh, 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 a lot of application out there and you're not getting caught. And even when you receive a call from a recruiter, you're not still able to land a real life interview. And you've been asking yourself, is there really something wrong with me? Is there something I'm doing that is not working? And in this video, I'm going to break down a couple of stuff that you might be doing wrong and that you can double check to see if uh, uh, that is something you're doing. If you got all of this right and you're not still moving next to the next phase, I'm going to suggest uh, you can also reach out to me. I can be able to have a conversation and figure out if there is something uh, I can do to help you. So the first thing, the number one reason why a lot of people do not cross their recruiter question is their resume. And I didn't make mention that most of the recruiters, they don't pay attention to the details of your resume. They just see, oh, Scrum Master, five years of working experience. I look like what one of my clients is looking for. And then they forward your resume to the hiring manager. The hiring manager that take time to go through the details and say, oh, uh, this person, I don't think uh, they really have this number of years of experience. If they do, I know Scrum Master do not manage and I see the resume, I manage team, I manage team. So they probably are confusing project management from Scrum Master and then they put your resume on the side, right? So and you keep on getting the calls, you get about 10 calls from recruiter, but you're not advancing. Now, the first thing you want to double check is that do you have the right wording in your resume? If not, uh, we can also help you with that. Uh, send me an email uh, with any help that you need with that. Now. The second mistake you might be making, it's also uh, not being able to pass a very basic question. The two basic questions a recruiter will ask you, hey, tell me about yourself. Uh, maybe a technical recruiter, tell me about yourself. And then uh, can you tell me a, a bit about your previous experience as a Scrum Master? And on the question, tell me about yourself, there are three phases which I always uh, recommend that you capture. Number one, don't go directly into Scrum. Don't go say, oh, I have five years of uh, experience working as a Scrum and my last project was in this and my last project was in this and my last project was in this. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, is that the right way to pro approach it? No. Now you need to understand that Scrum Master is a leadership role, which means that they're looking for people that have had some experience before entering into that role. So always start by saying, for instance, always start, hey, my name is Francis Simbunya and I have about 14 years of working experience in project development with about five to eight years of this experience in the IT field. Right, so the first part you want to capture your bigger experience. Now, they might be looking for someone with about five years experience, but because I did mention that I have about 14 years of experience working within the project development fee, now they, that's already a plus, that's already a no, right? Although they were looking for someone with 10 years of working experience in, in Scrum, I have just maybe five years of working experience. I might be pulled in because they want to see, hey, if he's been working for 14 years in project management, he can easily handle that project. So sometimes we do ourselves a disfavor just to focus on Scrum, 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 and we are not leveraging our previous experience. Now, the second phase you want to handle about us, about, uh, about tell me about yourself, is when you capture your number of years of experience, now bring it down to Scrum Master. People want to see a chrono uh, chronological movement, but some people discuss that they just move from nowhere into Scrum Master. If I'm listening to you, I'm your recruiter, I definitely want to appreciate you saying, okay, I have about uh, I've been, I have about 14 years in project management, then 
about eight in the IT and I got interested in the Scrum Master uh, maybe four years ago when I was working on this project and there was this challenge and I stumbled on this uh, tool on how to effectively manage a change uh, a team this caught my interest and then I was able to practice take my certification got my first position uh, with this company and I was helping them with this and my contract got um, uh my contract ended i picked my second role with this and my contract is just adding and this is why i'm looking for another opportunity now uh, this is kind of dealing with technical recruiters technical recruiters are recruiters that are hiring from from the company which means that they have some insight about what uh you're doing non-technical recruiters are most of those who are going to just refer you they don't really care so much about uh your, those details but there are some recruiters that are going to go really really uh, details. Those recruiters that go really detailed, there are high chances for you to learn um, your interview, your first face interview with them because they, they really kind of take their time and do screening. Then also, if you don't have a LinkedIn profile, you probably want to do that. A lot of uh, recruiters reach out to me from LinkedIn and those who reach out from you uh, from LinkedIn, they take time and really go through that. And imagine uh, this is people reaching out to you rather than you applying. So that's a plus, which means they see some value. But when they see some value, you need to be able to back up that value with your communication. Now, the second uh, question, which you're also going to uh, answer when you're talking to recruiters, like, oh, tell me a bit about your last position. Tell me a bit about your last position. Tell me a bit about your last position. This is where so many people mess up and they go like, oh, my last position, I was working in an agile environment and uh, I was helping my team. Uh, I was doing daily stand-up. I was doing, uh, what again? I was doing uh, planning. I was doing retrospective and uh, I would help my team to remove impediments and all of that. Okay. What did you just say? All right. Perfect. Now. This is an indication to actually say that you don't really have enough knowledge of what you are talking about. Now, your level of uh, the, the way you're going to approach a question matter a lot. Now, when they say, tell me a bit about your previous experience, there are three simple things you need to do. Number one, my previous experience was with XY IT company and I was helping them to be able to build a system that can help uh, their staff to be able to book vacation as their bonuses. And I do this by using the Scrum framework where we run a two week circle of a spring, if you're working in a safe environment, it's going to be of iteration where we start with our planning, we plan what we are going to do for the next two weeks, and we inspect and adapt using our daily stand up meeting at the end of every spring. Now we review what has been built by inviting stakeholders and having feedback from them. Then we draw back and then inspect and, and retrospect as a, as a team. And in most of the cases, before we ever get into our planning, we make sure that we're having our backlog refinement or backlog grooming meeting, and that's helping us to stay uh, a fit as a team. All right. Don't go into details of uh, run impediment, there have been a situation. No. With the recruiter, you want to stay as plain as much as possible. Don't go into details. Now, I'm going to kind of also do another video when this question comes in an interview and how you can handle it. But if you handle it at a very high level, still at the level of the interview, you're still good. What is going to happen is that they're going to ask you uh, further questions to actually understand if you know exactly what you're saying. But uh, this is a secret. This is a secret. And this secret is for you. One of the things you want to do, especially when you're going through interviews, for every interview that you go, make sure you record that interview. You listen to yourself. Make sure that you don't just listen. You write down the question that were uh, uh, that that frequent asked question, and you write down an answer. Study those question and answer as if you're studying your uh, certification exam. That is the key to it. 
why because you want to understand when you start doing it over and over again you gain confidence right i'm able to talk like this not just because i'm reading from some book and telling you now it's because i've been able to do it over and over again so now i have the confidence to be able to talk without trying to uh think if what i'm saying is right or wrong so that is very very important all right that was it for today thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to our sales scrum master chat room i'm going to be bringing you more of this insight you can get it anywhere we're talking about real practical stuff not just uh what you're gonna read from the scrum guy right and if you want to join uh my team if you want to get certified send me an email i'll be able to guide you through that if you want if you already interviewing you're having challenges with your interview reach out if you just landed a job and you're having trouble uh, catching up with some of the terms we also have a support team that you may want to uh, join but most importantly i'm going to see you in the next video